Okay guys, so I'm back. So I have an extremely hot tipple of oatmeal that is going to cool down. I added the strawberries, which I should probably have waited till it wasn't super hot, but um, I added the sliced strawberries and just a little bit of brown sugar to make it not super, like I don't want it sweet sweet, but I can't, I just, I don't like having just plain oatmeal. Um, so I like to add some brown sugar. So I'm just gonna let that cool down um, while I film, so. Welcome to another, um, welcome to another video, you guys. Um, so today is my last day. My hair is super frizzy. <laughs> That's what happens when you blow dry it. Um, my, today is my last day. Today is the last day of my day job and it's bittersweet. I'm excited, but I'm also sad. Um, I'm a little sad because I do really, really, really enjoy my coworkers and I've learned so much from them the last two years working there. Um, and they're such amazing people and they are so welcoming and they're funny as hell. Like literally we've had so many good laughs and they just made me feel a part of the team. They've worked there for years. Some of them have been there for 10 plus years. Um, and me being a new person, they, you know, it's not always easy to invite a new person into the circle, um, but they were very welcoming. And so it was a nice, a really nice, um, a really nice experience. And um, I'm gonna be sad to see that part of my life kind of end, but I still plan on communicating, having communication with the girls and, um, you know, meeting up with them every once in a while. So I don't want that to end and all that. And they follow Cackling Moon, so <laughs> you guys will see what's going on in my life. Um, so yeah, so last day of the day job, super, super excited, super, super nervous for what's to come and all of that, but I'm going to roll with it and just go with it. Um, I don't know if it's nerves or if it's like, if I want to sound super, you know, new agey, it could be this transit, this major transit that we're having right now. So we're having a, um, a Saturn and Pluto conjunction. And so Saturn is all about endings and putting a stop to things. Saturn is about lessons. It's about transformations, but in order to transform, there needs to be kind of like, I kind of see Saturn as the death card, where in the tarot, the death card is in order to see a new beginning or in order to see change or transformation, you have to let go of something else. Um, and then Pluto is all about transformations. It's all about, you know, major changes. Um, it's all about death. It's all about finalities. Um, and all the time, whenever you see an ending of some sort, there's usually a new beginning close on the horizon. So um, they're very similar energies, very a lot of endings. And so if you guys are experiencing endings or transformations or lessons, oh, I saw three, three, three. <laughs> um, endings, transformations, lessons of some sort today into like the next, you know, probably around this month um, because it's happening in Capricorn. So if you're savvy on your birth chart, pull up your birth chart, look for where Capricorn is, what house does Capricorn represent in your birth chart, and that will show you where this energy is going to be influencing, taking place, having that effect in your life. Pay attention to um, other natal transits and how they kind of coincide with the, the present transit that's happening that I just spoke about. Um, so in, for example, mine is in the eighth house. So Capricorn is um, the eighth house in my birth chart. Um, eighth house is other people's money. It is, you know, like the taxes and all that stuff. Um, it's also endings. It's the, it's the house of death. So <laughs> it's a house of transformation and whatnot. So the fact that we're, I'm having this huge transit taking place in my natal house, eighth house, um, says a lot. And the fact that today is my last day of my day job, but it's not just a day job. It's the last day that I'm going to be, for the most part, and as far as 
I can see. Um, it's the last day that I'm going to be working, what do people call it? A muggle? A muggle? Muggle? I didn't watch Harry Potter. Like, I didn't read Harry Potter, so I don't know the proper term. But usually that's what people say. Um, it's, it's, this is the ending of that little cycle experience, time of my life kind of thing. I've been working day jobs, nine to five jobs since 2006. I believe that's when I, no, no, no. Yeah, 2006 was not, technically it was 2004 because I got a little, I don't like to think about that first job, <laughs> flipping burgers, but um, technically my, my first real job was in 2006. Um, and I was 18, 19. And so um, it's been quite an experience. When I was 15, I got my first job, but I was like flipping burgers and stuff. So <sighs> it was a nightmare. I, I, I don't know. I give a lot of props to people who do um, like not retail because I did retail too, but I give a lot of props for people who work in the food industry. <laughs> fast food industry it's um it's a constant reminder for me to be nice to those people who are working that that those jobs because it's rough people are so mean um so anyways I've been working day jobs since I was 15 um but I my whole like major career in the library field started in 2006 so that's what I meant um and so today marks the last day of all of that. I plan on doing Cackling Moon for the rest of my days. Um, if things change, God forbid for the negative, but if things change and it's a, necess a necessity for me to find work again, or maybe I choose to find work just out of boredom or whatnot, then you know that's different. But for the most part, I'm going to be working from home and so this is a big change for me. This is a big deal and um, I'm really excited and also nervous. So <laughs> I just wanted to add that little tidbit that we're having this major transit right now astrology wise and it's like so relevant to my personal chart and I just had to mention it. So so yeah, so we're going through that and today's my last day for that. I think I'm going to switch out my purses. Um, new year, new purse. Not necessarily a new purse, but so I have like this old, this really old, my favorite purse, but it is seeing better days. Like, look at the discoloring in it. <laughs> it was actually all once this color and now it's like pfft, all stretched out and yellowy and nasty because I fill up my purse like you, no one's business. So... <clears throat> I think I'm going to switch out the purse. I'll probably end up going back to this one because it's a favorite, but I'm going to use um, this one. So they're faux leather. It's not real leather, um, but they're faux leather purses, and they're just like cheapy, like literally cheapy bohemian style purses. Like those are my favorites. I love slouchy purses. So I think I'm going to switch them out, and of course I have my little Freddy pin because I love Freddy Krueger. Um, my mom for Christmas, you guys, my mom got me a Dooney, a little Dooney, like a wristlet, I guess you could call it, a little purse. It's so cute. Um, my mom is a Dooney fanatic, so she has tons of their purses, and she's gifted me, um, purses every once in a while. I have a piece of Starless fur on there. <laughs> um, and so she gifted this one to me, and... I really like it. It's really cute. It's one of those like, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, so let me just grab like my tiny little wristlets so that I don't have to lug around a big heavy purse kind of thing. So um, what I've been doing is I'll keep my like, in my all my stuff in it, and then I throw it in a regular purse so that like if I'm going out, sometimes do you guys ever do that? Like you go out and you're like, oh, I don't want to carry my purse. Let me just take my wallet out. Well, boom, just take it out, and then it has a little handle so you could you know go on go on with your day. So, anyways, um, <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do because my wallet. So this was my 2019 wallet. I usually try to switch out wallets once a year. I know that sounds extreme, but um, my wallets get a lot of love and care. So this was my 2018 wallet, um, and I loved it because it had the little handle. So I love wallets that have the handles because like I, I do that. I pull the wallet out sometimes, and I don't even use the purse. So this was a 29, 2018 wallet, 
And then this was my 2019 wallet. And I choose them specifically for the look and like the vibe that I want the wallet to give. So this is faux, it's not real snakeskin or anything. Um, but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to have um, something that just like represented my feel of money. And so for 2019, I thought the red was like, red is aggressive and red is like, we're gonna do this kind of thing. And 2019 was, Quite, quite an aggressive year. It was my year of the tower. <laughs> that was fun. Um, and so I'm thinking of looking around for another wallet to use for 2020, but I haven't decided yet because this is still fairly new. Like it's still in good shape. So I might hang on to it, but I like how it's big because it holds like literally everything, <laughs> everything, um, everything from like crystals to my checkbook to like a bunch of cards that I don't need in there. And I mean, I'm telling you, I have crystals in my purse. Um, let me see if I can find one. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, here you are. I have a citrine. I keep a citrine in my wallet because citrine is good for abundance and bringing in money. So. Little tidbit, put a citrine in your wallet. It's really good for that. Or clear quartz. Um, and then I have like all of these little coins. So um, my dad gave me one for his um, work he does. And then my husband had, I like there was like a coin for my husband's career and then another coin for the year that he graduated the academy. So I, I have like these heavy ass coins in my purse. And um, I don't know, that's why I love it. And then it's two, it's like zippered, so the zipper secures everything and there's two sections. So one section I have like my money in it and then the other, the other section I have my cards and my library cards and all that good stuff. So I think I'm gonna keep like hold on to the wallet and everything, but um, I might ditch this whole thing for today and just stick the stuff in here. So we'll see, I haven't decided yet. What else do I have to put in my wallet or in my purse? <laughs> Oh, so here's another Dooney. Like again, it was a gift from my mom. So this Dooney, um, this was actually what I took to my husband's Christmas party. So it has like my, my red lipstick in it. <laughs> Cause at the Christmas party I was wearing like all black and then I had a pop of red, my lips in my purse. So it kind of like matched, I guess I thought it looked cute. Um, and so I, in this one, I keep like, this is where I have, I have my little fortunes when we went to the, the alien jerky place, they had like the little fortune teller thing. I'm weird. I have to do all that stuff when I see it. Um, so yeah, so I had my stuff and then I keep a little Godzilla photo because it reminds me of my brother. So I like to have a piece of my brother with me. I know it sounds weird, but that's just how it is. So my other little Dooney clutch, usually like this is like the one that I would take to go, but now that I have this one, I guess I could put him away for now. So yeah, what else do I have in here? I have a shit ton of like, like literally receipts and sh trash that I have to go through and figure out what I don't need. I have like little candies. I always like to keep little candies in my purse because you never know when you're gonna want something sweet and you need something sweet. Um, oh, this was the other gift my mom gave me for Christmas this year. It was like a little mirror. I thought it was so cute. So it's just, it pops open and you have a little mirror so you can like look at yourself when you're putting your lipstick on and stuff. <laughs> Super cute. So that's gonna go in my new purse. And then I have my, um, my little badge for work. So gonna have to remember to give the keys back. So I need to make sure I put that in my purse. I have another thing of candy, but I won't be taking that today. I always have cough drops in my purse cause I'm weird like that. Like ever since I got a random cough where it was like, I couldn't talk without coughing and having coughing attacks. Like I learned my lesson. So I always have um, cough drops in my purse. Um, I had Vaseline in my purse because that was when I was having my eczema, but I, I was able to put some makeup on my eye and it's not itching. So I think that cream that I have has been working. So I'm happy. CBD, I have some CBD body lotion. <laughs> um, 
just a bunch of shit. Like literally I just have so much trash. I have like all these, literally like so many cards, punch cards and stuff. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so my, um, what is this? Chapstick, need that for sure with this cold weather. I always have some Midol in my purse because my period's irregular, so my period sometimes literally just shows up whenever she wants to. And usually when she shows up, I'm that person, oh, another, I have more Midol. I'm that person where when she shows up, I have day one cramps. So I could be feeling fine all day and then all of a sudden she shows up and then like an hour later I'm dying of cramps. So I have a pink pen. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I need in this purse. I always have a pair of socks, like those little booty socks for the flats, but maybe I'll put them in this purse because sometimes my feet do get cold at work. Oh my God. I have so many crystals, you guys. I guess I'll just transfer these because I'm going to miss them. Oh, my favorite, my favorite, um, lip gloss it's revlon and it's the ultra hd matte lip color i love this one and it's in the shade seduction this is my favorite lip color it's very subtle it's like a nude it's subtle and it's matte and it's just i love it like i like glossy lips but i prefer matte i don't know it's just always been my thing i think when i have glossy lips like i'm constantly wanting to lick my lips and then it's just like, ugh. So I prefer the matte. Um, check out all these crystals, you guys. I'm just trying to get them all. <laughs> trying to get them all so I could put them in this other purse. So I have an ametrine <laughs> in my purse. I have a green fluorite. I have an, am an amethyst, a smoky quartz. Um, I don't remember what this blue one is called. I think it's, I don't know if it's blue barrel. I don't know, but it's really pretty. Um, and then a citrine. I love to have citrines in my purse. So I'm going to transfer those crystals into this other bag. And then the rest of this stuff is just shit that I got to throw out. Like a lot of receipts and nasty stuff. And then I'm also going to put a tarot deck in my purse because I need that. So let's transfer pads in my purse usually I keep them in this front window <laughs> oh I just have the panty liners I'm gonna have to put a pad or two in this one because like I said you never know when she's gonna pop up and I'm on I think I'm on like cycle day 20 right now so she should be popping up in another week if she wants to be on time and if she's not gonna be on time then I don't know she does her own thing Okay, I think my oatmeal is pretty much cool. So let me put this stuff in here so I can eat because I'm hungry. Put the tarot deck in there. Put all my crystals in the pocket. I'm so weird. Um, you know what? I could actually put in here. I love the Doonies when they have like the red inside. Oh, so nice. So I'll put the lips and all that stuff in here. Just throw that in my first pocket. I'm not using you today. I think I'll just throw this in there because I'm gonna need it anyway. And then these guys, don't forget the keys, my pen, my nasty socks. <laughs> and I'm good. Oh yeah, and then I'm taking I'm packing my tarot book so I can finish reading um, chapter six. I think we're on six, five or six. So I can finish reading it because tomorrow I'm gonna film the video discussion. So I'm taking that to work with me so I can finish it. So I'm gonna need my highlighters. And then um, this is what I'm currently reading. I haven't started it yet, but uh, I'm gonna take that too. So I'm starting, I'm gonna start reading mine by Courtney Cole. You might think he's yours, but he's always, he'll always be mine. So it sounds really good. Let me just read it to you real fast, like with the little, the back portion. 
So it says, when Tessa Taylor unlocked her husband's, her, her, okay, when Tessa Taylor unlocked her husband Ethan's iPad to discover nude photos from a 26-year-old bombshell named Lindsay, her seemingly perfect life seemed to be a screeching to a halt. Like, as soon as I read that first paragraph, I was just like, I need this book. Like, I need to read this. This is just delicious. <laughs> With a hurricane barreling toward Florida, and Ethan stuck on a business trip, Tessa finds herself imprisoned in her own home with a choice to make. Does she ride out the storm until she can confront Ethan in person, or does she take matters into her own hands? I think I would take matters into my own hands. I'd probably fucking kill both of them. Just saying. Increasingly restless and desperate for revenge, Tessa resolves to act, and when she lures Lindsay over shortly thereafter, there's no turning back. What ensues is a battle of wills between two well-matched opponents, blinded by love for the same man, but driven by demons of their own. So that's the other thing that caught my attention was like, ooh, these girls have like a backstory, what happened? Um, like storm ravaged Florida, neither woman will be the same when the sky is clear. He's mine. Both wife and mistress would stake their lives on it, but only one of them can be right. So it sounds juicy. It sounds kind of like a like a cheesy juicy, but I'm hoping that it'll be good. And it's really short. It's only like I barely, I think it's barely, yeah, it's 287 pages, 292. It's 292 pages. And so um, I think I'll be able to finish this real fast. <laughs> so that was just like a little... It was literally a purchase that I made at Barnes & Noble when I probably didn't need to buy a book, but I needed to get out of the house and hubby took me to Barnes & Noble and I bought that one. So, <laughs> And then I also bought book three of the Outlander series. I bought the littler paperback because the first, the, the first and second book I bought are like the bigger ones, the bigger ones, but I don't know. Like it's such a big book that it's a lot to, to carry around. So I ended up going for the smaller paperback which is like a thousand something pages but it's smaller so it'll be easier to um to carry in the purse and stuff and hold when i'm reading because um i like to lay down and read <laughs> and sometimes like do you ever drop some do you guys ever drop your phone on your face because <laughs> i've done that so many times but i've also done that with books because i read before i go to sleep so yeah i feel like my bangs are so I sprayed them with like dry shampoo, but I still feel like they're so greasy. <sighs> so this is my oatmeal. It's a big ass bowl. Like I didn't measure it before I made it. So I probably won't finish all of this, but <laughs> the strawberries are so good with the oatmeal, you guys. So speaking of oatmeal and why I'm eating oatmeal, um, I need to drink more water too. So I'm allowing myself my cup of coffee in the morning because if I don't, I'll have a bad headache. Um, but I need to drink more water. And so today I'm gonna specifically, I'm not going to Starbucks today before I go to work. I'm gonna drink water because, um, and that'll let me leave a little bit later. I don't have to leave right at like 10.30 if I want to, or 11.30 if I wanna to get to work by one. So I, I usually leave early so I can give myself time to go to Starbucks, but um, this time I'm just going to go straight to work because um, yesterday I was feeling a headache coming on. Like I could feel a headache slash migraine. And part of me was like, I bet you my blood pressure's up. So usually like when you have high blood pressure, um, you'll get really bad headaches or like sometimes bloody noses. So I know like sometimes I'll, I'll get a bloody nose and usually it's either my blood pressure's up or, um, or I'm just stressed the fuck out. <laughs> And so I haven't had bloody noses. I had like a couple of them last month, but I haven't had anything within the last week or two. And yesterday I was just feeling like a headache coming on and I could just tell. And so I was like, I bet you I'm fucking dehydrated again. Um, because the last, literally the last two and a half weeks, I haven't been, I haven't gone to work. Like I worked once a week, literally like once this week and then once last week because of all the holidays. And so the library's closed like crazy and it's only a part-time job. So um, <laughs> I was only working once a week for the last two weeks. Um, and so I had all these days off and it threw me off, you guys. Because when I'm at work, I have a water bottle with me. Like I always take water with me. 
So it's like I'll drink my Starbucks and then like I have water, so I'm drinking water every day. But literally the last two weeks, I don't think I've been drinking much water and um, I could feel it, like I feel it. So yesterday I had that headache coming on. I took an Excedrin and then it kicked in after about an hour, it just like went away. But I was still feeling not myself. Um, I was just feeling like really, you know, like wound up. <laughs> And I couldn't sleep last night. I was so wound up. I felt like I could feel my heartbeat in my ears. And I was freaking out thinking like, is my blood pressure really up? Like, is it bad? Like, am I gonna have a heart attack right now? <laughs> and so I checked my pulse and all of that and everything came out normal. Nothing was high, but I just felt wound up. So I think I was having a mild panic attack because usually when I have a panic attack, I look, <coughs> excuse me, usually when I have, <laughs> I almost choked on camera. Usually when I have a panic, that's what you get for eating and talking at the same time. So let me put this aside. Um, usually when I have a panic attack, I feel um, tough, like tightness in my chest, which is what I was feeling last night. Like literally feel like someone's sitting on your chest or like I feel pain in my back sometimes. And then, um, I just feel like when I'm having a panic attack, I feel like I can't catch my breath, you know? And I just feel like I just have a tightness in my chest, I can't catch my breath, and it's just like everything's closing in on me. <laughs> so last night, that's kind of how I felt. So I had to prop myself up on the pillows. I was trying to get comfortable sleeping. I woke up a couple times in a panic. So I, I think I was having a panic attack, and then at the same time, um, maybe my blood pressure was up a little bit, or. I just needed to drink water. So I chugged water last night, which then I ended up having to like get up to pee like every hour. So I slept like shit last night, <laughs> needless to say. And then it was that to me, that was my body's telling, my body was telling me something. So my body was giving me a wake up call. And, um, and so I have all of these like plans to be healthier for 2020 and to be make, just make mindful decisions. And so I told myself, nope, today I'm gonna eat or I'm gonna drink my cup of coffee and then I'm going and then I'm going to have water all day. So um that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take water with me to work and chug my water and take my vitamins and just hopefully I'll feel a little bit more better. Like I feel better now, but I'm telling you, last night I did not feel like myself. I felt like I was dying. <laughs> and so it was scary. But um, a reality check is like, sometimes you need that to remind yourself, hey, <laughs> you're not getting any older. You're getting older. Sometimes you need to take care of yourself more. And for me, it's like, you haven't been drinking your water. You need to eat better. You need to relax, girl. So <laughs> that's, that's what happened last night. Um... So I'm hoping because I didn't sleep like I didn't sleep good last night. I'm hoping I'll knock out tonight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then it's like, and then it's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. My parents are supposed to come visit. So I got to put away, make sure I like hide the tarot decks that I have laying around the house. <laughs> so they're going to come visit and we're going to go to brunch. Um, and I'm going to have to wake hubby up because he'll be knocked out he's knocked out right now my, my poor love so i'm gonna have to wake him up go to brunch and come back home and go to sleep but my parents haven't been over the house since i want to say in october because they tried to come up for november for thanksgiving and they got snowed out <laughs> literally <laughs> and then they didn't come in they didn't come over in december so it's been like a couple months so it'll be nice to have them up here to visit. <laughs> so we'll see if they do that. But I don't know, you guys. I'm excited. Like January 2nd, fresh new year. I hope you guys have plans. I hope you guys have goals. I hope you guys have, even if it's just little goals, you guys. Like for me, my major goals are just to be successful with Cackling Moon and like supersede the stats that I had for 2019. So each month I wanna try to make more than what I made the last month, you know? 
If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Um, but like big goals is just to be successful with Cackling Moon to pay off my deb my uh, debit card, to pay off my credit card, um, and make sure I spend some time with Grandma because she's you know she's not gonna be around forever. Um, and then what was my other big goal? Well, I want I want to say like getting healthy and losing weight would be a big goal, but I don't want to I don't want to burden myself with feeling like I have to focus on a number on the scale and stuff because I told you guys I had a really negative um I had a really negative experience with weight loss when I was 17 I was in high school and I lost um, about 40 pounds but it was because I wasn't eating I was um taking I was like consuming 500 calories a day and I was writing it down and stuff and I was exercising and I was like barely eating and I dropped 40 pounds in like a couple months and I was the thinnest I've ever been I never weighed well I'm at one point I weighed that point because then I have to like you know pass it <laughs> but um I was the smallest I've ever been, you know, in high school. And so, and even at that size too, I was still fairly like curvy. I'm just a naturally curvy woman. Um, so my smallest size, I was, I think I weighed in at three, one, three. <laughs> I think I weighed in at 130. I think 130, 130 pounds was my smallest size in high school. And um, I was still a size I think I was I was able to squeeze into a size 10 jeans but I was still hovering in the du the double digits like my when I was when I was trying to lose weight and I was doing it the wrong way um I wanted to be a single digit in the jeans and I never reached it I never reached it and so um my body is naturally curvy I have hips um I I don't, I never really had a booty, but I had a little booty when I was in high school, but I have hips. Like I have hips and thighs and boobs and like, I'm just, I'm very voluptuous in any size I am. <laughs> so at my smallest size of, of 130 pounds, I was still very curvy, but it was a smaller size and I achieved it because I wasn't eating. And so I was like super obsessed with calorie counting and I was obsessed with like, I didn't want to go over this many calories a day and I was it was all for the wrong reasons and then of course like <clears throat> when I stopped doing that stuff um, I gained the weight back and then more and more and more so it was just like it, it was just a disaster <laughs> so that's why in my other video when I mentioned I don't want a calorie count um, that's my reason because I have the I have a very um, uh, obsessive personality and I have a very addictive personality like being a Pisces um, I have tendencies to become very addicted or obsessed with things um, and I fixate on it to the point where I fixate it to it's to make it I can make something positive into a very toxic thing so um, I don't like that about myself and I have to be very careful when it comes to like control um, because I have a tendency to have no self-control or too much control. And so there, to me, it's like, I'm very like extreme. I'm either way over here or way over here. Like there's, I'm very rarely in the middle. <laughs> and so I'm a very hot, cold person. I'm, my personality is a very blue personality or red. There's no in between. Like I'm red or blue, blue or red. <laughs> so it's like, I'm really calm or shit hits the fan real fast. Um, and so I have to be very careful with that. And so that's why I'm like, I want to set goals to lose weight this year, but I also want to do it so casual that it feels more like a healthy lifestyle change versus I'm working to like lose 10 pounds this month. Like, I just don't want to get sucked into that mindset again. Um, because I think once you have the tendency to, to abuse something, you will always have the tendency to abuse it unless you really turn your life around and change it and so um i have a like i have <laughs> potentials to abuse things like that and so i don't want to do that to myself again um 
So, <laughs> losing weight is a goal, but it's not going to be something that I fixate on. I'm gonna try not to fixate on it, but if I find myself fixating on it, then you guys will notice. But um, we'll see. So, making subtle changes. Drinking more water, no soda or less soda. I'm limiting myself. Um, so like more water each week, more water, less soda, um, no Starbucks or try to cut out Starbucks altogether. Um, cause those are my bad habits. <laughs> as far as candies go and stuff, I can go some days I can go without any candy and then it's like, I have to have something. So I have it in the house, but I'm trying to tell myself like, I'm not going to finish this whole bag of candy. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm trying to tell myself like, I can eat whatever I want, but I need to eat it in moderation, okay? And then the other thing is don't go for seconds. So that's a big one for me. Um, usually like I'll go for seconds if it's something I really love, like my mother-in-law's cooking. <laughs> but um, the last couple times that I've been to her house to eat, like Christmas day, um, Christmas Eve, when she had her tamales, Thank God for heartburn, because I was like ready to have another plate of tamales, and I told myself, nope, no. So <laughs> she's always trying to give me seconds, and I'm like, no, no thank you, I'm good. So that's another one for me is no seconds on plates. Like what I serve on my plate is what I'm gonna eat, and that's it. Um, and then what else? Like even like if I'm serving, like if I'm pouring a glass of soda, I try to drink cans, because the can is like, I can monitor how much soda I'm drinking if I have a can, right? And usually like, I'll drink one can a day, or if I'm trying to be good, like I won't finish it and I'll throw the rest of it out. But sometimes my husband likes to buy the two liter bottles. So if I'm having like a glass of soda with a two liter bottle, I'll try to, I'll, well, I'll try, I'll go for the short glass, like the little, you know, like those little short glasses, not the big tall ones, the little glasses. <laughs> so then I know, okay, I have one glass, one cup of soda and that's it. Um, so just little things like that. So I would say sodas, like sweet drinks are my, that is my guilty pleasure. Like, cause I love Starbucks, I love soda. And then candies, but I don't know. I'm not as big on candy as I used to be. Like, I used to be big on candy. And now I'm like, it's there in the house, but I'm not, you know what I mean? For me, it's the sweet drinks. Um. So yeah, little things like that. So set goals for yourself, you guys. So set like small goals for yourself um, that you can easily achieve throughout the week to keep you pumped. But don't overwhelm yourself. <laughs> And don't overwhelm yourself. And don't feel bad about yourself if you don't achieve a goal or like let's say today I tell myself I'm only gonna drink water. And then let's say I have like a soda. I'm not gonna like kill myself over it. We make mistakes, we make, sometimes we just, <laughs> we are who we are, you know? Nobody's perfect. So be nice to yourselves. Anyways, this video is long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the chat this morning. It is 10:15. I'm gonna be leaving for work in another hour. Um, last day of work. So I will see you guys later. I'll probably be filming um, a video diary tomorrow sometime. I don't know if it'll be in the morning, but maybe after my parents leave, I'll film a video diary. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day. Bye, loves. <laughs>